What's going on YouTube, z Zone here, I'm back with another demolition video. Uh, if you haven't seen the speed build, check it out in the description or at the end of the video, there will be a little box. Uh, make sure you check that out, this was a good little pillar base back in the day when it, pillar bases were good. Uh, they're not so good nowadays, but I'll show you that with a treb. Uh, the treb never used to go through the bubbles, you can see the bubbles up now, but we're going to treb this in, it should go straight through it. Uh, if we have a look down here, uh, this one is heat stroked as well, so we won't be able to climb up this one. If we get a bit closer, I'll show you guys that. So if we stand around here, start climbing up, uh, we get extremely hot and heat stroke. So we have got heaters up there, and the heaters stop us from climbing. Uh, if you haven't seen my other demolition videos, go check them out, but uh, we'll get away from that heat stroke. So we can cool down a bit. Uh, if you haven't seen the other demolition videos, check them out. But we have this vault here, and the vault always has the same supplies in it. So once we're finished blowing this in up, we can see what we have used. And as you can see, there's uh, 2,000 dragon powder. We've got some jars. We've got the tar for it as well. We've got 1,000 poison, uh, 500 healing, 1,000 explosive, and 1,000 acid. Uh, we do have four sets of armor just in case we die, we will be getting rid of it and we'll have to start again. And that will go into the total count of the raid. Uh, we've got gas masks, we've got food, uh, we might take some food at the moment. We've got some climbing gloves, which we're going to need those. We've got the boots and gloves. Uh, we're going to need a trebuchet. Um, I did spawn in the whole trebuchet, it's just to save time, but if you're going to do this in game, make sure you leave like an hour for the trebuchet. Uh, that is something that's needed and we need some stone for the treb and some twine. We need the twine to make the bombs. Alright, so we've got that. Uh, we've got some food there. So we'll take that down. And we're going to take some arrows. Might as well take some explosive arrows. Just in case there's some bombs that we place there we need to shoot them before we set them off so they don't fall. But other than that, we are pretty good. I'm going to start with a uh, hundred because I think that's more than enough dragon powder to get through this in. But at the moment, I'm going to go do a speed build of a treb. I'm thinking that's a bit close. Might have to go over there. But we're going to do a speed build on that. And as you can see over here, I've got all these black ice pieces, and they're all set at a hundred. So I'm going to try and craft this in with just a hundred of those and see how we go. And we're probably going to build it up here. So I'll do a little speed build of the treb and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, we'll set up the trebuchet, a very quick little build, and obviously you'll block that off with an empty one as you go. And if you haven't seen my other demolition videos, make sure to check them out. But you can put this into a box and have it fully enclosed, so it's a lot harder for people to blow up the trebuchet. They have to blow through the roof or the walls, either or either. So yeah, it's very good, handy thing to know that even if with the ceiling tiles on top of this, it will still shoot through. So keep that into mind when you're building trebs and trying to defend them. So let's chuck a few of these rocks in. Uh, let's make uh, some trebuchet bullets here. Yeah, we need, need the carpenter's bench. So I'll we'll unlock that. And unlock this guy. And now we should be able to make some of these boulders. We'll make 10. Now, as you can see, this trebuchet is pretty much the same height as this building, so I'm a bit worried that it's not going to work as well. But I guess we'll find out uh, as we're going along. Yeah, and you always need to put the ammo into the slot, or it just won't work. Keep that in mind. Um, but the actual angle on this is probably going to come into effect quite a lot. So let's just shoot it. This is how it comes out at 45. Let me hit the... 
and it's unloaded, it's in no counterweight, that's the problem. So learn from my mistakes, always do your counterweight, uh, always do 250, as you can see there, if you take out a 250 it goes to 98, which is pretty much it. So now we can see the counterweight and the angle, and we're going to shoot it and see what that does, I'm expecting it to go well over, which it does, that just goes... I don't know where that went, that went well over. Uh, so we're going to reset that. Now this angle, I've never actually gone minus, but as you can see from here, it has got a minus 25. I don't know what that's going to be like, so let's shoot it. Alright. Uh, we hit it, it's just a step down below. But that's actually going to work for us, so that's handy as. So uh, let's go minus 5. Let's try that one. Probably going to have to be a bit higher than that, but let's see what that gives us. That's pretty good, that was like halfway up the, the hill there, so let's go... 10. So plus 10. Let's give that a shot, hoping for the anti-climb. And we're a bit higher, so we're probably going to have to go plus 5. 10 seems to be too much. I really want a button to go back on this in the setup and go through it all like that. But it is what it is, so let's go through, and we've got plus 5 right there. I'm going to reload. Let's see where that's taken us. That's not too bad. Like, um, the heat stroke on this building, because I built I know it's about where that dragon's head was. So, we kind of need to blow that up, but at the same time we need to do the anti-climb now. So let's uh, take these siege boulders out. And let's make some bombs here. Uh, I'm probably going to go with 40 to 50 bombs, I would say. We scroll past all this building material. We really need that menu around the other way. Uh, so let's go 50 bombs to start off with. Let's reload that. Uh, so the plan is to get rid of all that anti climb so we can climb up, but we're still going to have to get rid of some of that heat stroke. With this building, uh, I know it's trap ready, but with all the heat stroke, we're still going to have to blow it up quite a lot just so we can start climbing. Because we're not going to get anywhere with that, with that heat stroke there. So we might as well use it. There we go. Another nice hit there. There's a foundation right where we want it, but the anti climb's still holding on. Let's load up our bow. I want to see if we can just uh, pop this anti climb with the bow. Oh, no. 
to looks like it's going to be higher and it land on it it's pretty close there there you go So you can see a kiln there, it's like a double story just for crafting and then on the top that's where we got the furnaces. And you'll see the furnace up the top there, it renders in when you throw the projectile. If we can crumb the, dis the stability underneath, hopefully all that crumbles. And then we lose the heaters, because the heaters have got some decent health. Alright, so I think that's all the boards we got. Let's go down and have a look and see if that heat shrink is still affecting us. Uh, we got a little fall here. Uh, if you haven't seen the other demolition videos, I am using a Arena Champion. Uh, she is only a spawning, you cannot get her in the game, and that's her stats for today. As you can see, they're a bit overpowered, that's why you can't get them in the game. Uh, but some of these builds have got arena champions in them, so I kind of have to use her just to equalize it a bit. Right, so we definitely got way up there, but let's see if this heat stroke just need to go right up there. Uh, come around here. So that heat stroke is still quite prominent. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to destroy quite a lot. Pretty much most of the demolition is going to be done by the trebuchet. Uh, let's get up here and grab some more bombs. So in that case, I think we might even need another 100 to 200 bombs. So let's save time and grab 200 just in case. Uh, new time. And we'll get rid of all that building stuff. Right, so let's get back and see how we go. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to blow this stuff and right up. You can see the furnace right up the top there, just under the map room. Which the map room will be protecting the furnaces too from a direct hit from the top. Uh, so let's get up the tread and start again.
hopefully the heat stroke has stopped on this side because that is what we need to go up. Drinking water also cools you down but with those heaters it's just not enough. Looks like we're good around here. Getting hot. Very hot. So it's going to get extremely hot which we just did. That's not good, but hopefully um, here we should be right. If it goes from extremely down to very... I'm going to do it. Doesn't look like it, does it? Looks like we still might need. Let's cool down again. Let's try. If we can get over this little bubble here. Yeah. No. No, we're still going to have to blow this into smithereens. I thought we might have to go a bit overboard with the treble on this one. But yeah, I hope you guys can see, like, um, even these pill bases, as long as you've got the right heat stroke set up, it's going to be a lot harder to get get into so let us get back up and we'll continue time we do this as well there will be so much of the loot despawn so really you know, probably not going to get your full money's worth back if you were raiding a place because of how much destruction you have to do before you even get up there the other thing with heat stroke it can be a pain in the ass to live there but it is well protected as long as you can go in and turn off these furnaces going around and turning them back on when you're getting ready to win someone shooting treasure at yeah, is a lot easier as you can see we've taken out that back wall which is what we want as well if we can keep taking that out the more the top will fall stability will drop and we'll get what we want let's go again A lot of damage there, it's very nice. Yeah, let's wait on that barrage. Let's shoot. Reload. See, there's still a lot of damage happening. That was a good shot in the back there. So we have taken out a lot of the heat strike there. Um, so that's 200 bombs we've chucked at this in. Like 200 jars all up. So that's 100 barrages that we've chucked. As you can see, we can go pretty fast doing all that. But let's see if we got um, access to this in now. Take the water to cool us down. And the stamina build up. Uh, we're not hot, so that's good. There's a hot there. A rest here. And it looks like we're actually good, so we're going to go for it. 
take off all our clothes. Mind you, we're probably hot now. Very hot. And it stayed very hot and then go. Oh, that's good, went down even. Even better. So we might be up here. Looks like it anyway. Not very hot. I'm trying to stay away from the left side here. But the anticline that's missing is a bit more to the left, so hopefully we can get in there before it goes extremely hot. Here we go. Up and over. Right on the border there. We hit extremely hot, we're done. But we are good here. Uh, the saber tooth is still there, so let's go to the side here where hopefully he can't come down and get us and we can put on our armor there we go I think we're right if we stand on here just stab this guy Alright, we are heat stroking, so we want to get back over to the side here. Alright, heat stroke is not going away, so that's not good news for us. Just trying to find a spot now that we can get off this heat stroke. Nope, extremely hot. Bad decision. Uh, this armor isn't heat related at all. This pig dish is, that might just give us the edge here. Doesn't seem to be giving us the edge. Uh, we've got um, two there. Just trying to think of the best spot to hide here. We'll try in the middle of the base, it's usually the best. Nope, I'm getting the heat stroke over there. We really need it to take up a water skin so we could uh, drink on our way up because the tea doesn't do it for us, as you can see. Yeah, I don't want to, but we're going to have to maybe just play some bombs down and then get out and try and demolish that side so the actual heat strike isn't affecting us too much. Let's do that, get rid of these guys so we can place these ones. So we're under a bit of a time strain here, but as you can see, this, if we can drop this wall, this will drop a lot more of the heat strike. And that's what we're going to aim to do. putting up a lot of these bombs. I don't think we're going to be able to stand this um, damage from these bombs either. So what we're going to have to do in that case, we're going to have to go down and shoot the barrage at it. And hopefully that sets it off. So if you're going to jump and you're in heat stroke mode, as soon as you grab on you're probably going to be forced to let go. So what you want to do is grab on at the end, which just doesn't seem very safe, it's not very safe. But we found a little spot here, so let's charge up. So just very hot there. We might be able to do this. If I can charge up to full health and then go to the other side of the base after setting these bombs off, you might be right. On the other side of the base, there should be enough in there. I didn't even hear that, guys. I don't know why the sound's not working for these tigers at the moment. I did not hear him at all. So let's find a little spot where he's not going to feel comfortable. Maybe down there. 
Uh, let's pay this guy. Oh, it's smarter than us. We should get it taken before he does too much damage to us. Alright. I'm gonna have to go down and regenerate here. Here we're very hot, so that's good. I don't know why, it sounds like the sounds aren't really working at the moment. Because you usually hear, that guy, hear those guys around the corner or something. Alright, so let's get back up there. Now hopefully it's safe around there. Let's have another look. Well, oh, that's why you always go check where you're going to run off to because of that. Exact thing. Well, this is our previous skip up, we're gonna do it. There it goes. Too easy. Now that looked like it didn't take down the wall that we wanted it to. Let's see what's left over here. Oh no, it did. It really did. Very nice. So pretty much demolish that. Now we can stand up here and it's only very hot. So as you can see up here we've got the crafting area. So let's try and get up there and have a look. I'll use the uh, temple there it looks like. Oh, if we weren't very hot we could use the uh, temple the heat is still affecting us. Really this base looks like it just needs to be wiped to the ground because this heat stroke is just playing with us way too much. So let's do that. Let's just wipe this base off. Uh, to wipe the base off nicely you always want to start from the bottom up. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Start from the bottom. We've got to keep an eye on that health that's flying down because of the heat stroke. I don't want to spend too much time here, so let's try and get these six bombs out that I've just made. This should do that corner pretty good. Now I'm pushing a bit low at the moment. Uh, if they, these guys are online defender, there's no way you should push it this low. More like just do one at a time. And maybe feed it as you're running past. So let's go over to where we have cleared this heat straight up. There we go, very hot. Let's get some hills into us. So yeah, if I was doing this, you'd definitely want someone someone in the conference down the bottom. And if you had loot out here, you just run to the edge and drop it off to them because this place is a torture chamber with this heat stroke. Uh, there we go, set that off. Just trying to get away as far as we can. Nice frame drop there. Lots of bits falling. That mat room is holding on like a champion. That whole corner is gone. So now let's work on this bit over here. Stroking again, so we gotta watch that. Alright. Looks like we can take the elevator all the way up to the top. But there's no point if we're just gonna die of heat stroke at this point. Again, that little slate just blowing this place up is the way to go. And if we have a little bit more um, protection against the heat, there we go, set that off. And that took out 
fair bit there. I'm going to jump down and get some heat armor and see how we go with the heat stroke on that. Just to show you guys, it's still going to be a pain. And I'll be right back up here. Alright, we're back up here with some heat armor. I will see how this elevator goes. Um, doesn't look like it goes anywhere now. It looks like we've already demolished it. And there's a trap elevator up there. As you can already see we're getting heat stroke. And this is all tier 2 armor. So the heat stroke is still bothering us. Um, yeah, let's just uh, continue working this in. Let's so have a quick look up the elevator. It is a trap elevator, so I don't want to get trapped up there, but I can show you the heaters. This is the heater room here. This is where you'll go to turn it off. Uh, you cannot turn it off. It has to be the people who own the base, so really they have to all get blown up. See that's a bit too much still, so we're gonna have to back off and heal up. But your heat stroke is quite powerful and still powerful in the game. To go from the top to the bottom of this pillar, it's quite powerful. Uh, let's get some bombs down over here. Uh, let's just do some real damage here. One. Well, I think that's going to be enough explosive damage to take out that corner. Let's hope it is anyway. We have got the heavy armor on now, so we're a lot better off. What we're standing on to could definitely go. This isn't the stainless in it. Looks like it is just running off this foundation here. So we definitely gonna keep that in mind. I don't want to just suddenly drop. Let's run into here. Play a bit more aggressive. And I've got the heat gun run. So we can't be that aggressive because the whole heat stroke effect is really affecting us. Alright, let's heal up again. So even up here, we can stand by this heat stroke. The only thing with this heat stroke too, it would be really hard to defend when your own base is on fire. It's going to be hard for you and the uh, Fighters. As you can see we're getting it done but we are getting pretty low as we're doing it. So it's a quite dangerous effort at the moment. I'll just shove a couple more bombs down. Uh, with these dem demolition videos I usually foundation wipe every build after the video you see a big explosion but this time it looks like we're going to have to do it just to get into all these boxes because it is just full on heat stroke here. Uh, we'll get these down. Kind of want to do a big explosion for the end. Let's see if we can actually stand up here and not die. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Probably can't go too big. And that's going to be a limit there. Uh, we are already low health, so I'm going to back off and fix my health up. As you can see, the frame rates dropped dramatically. Definitely need a new uh, GPU, CPU, new computer. Because this is really taken a hit. Uh, let's get back onto our little safety foundation. That was a big drop. 
mat room went. Uh, still got the heat streak in the corner though. But it's still holding on. Another bit down. Replace this one. Why not? And another guy in there. Yep. Once that's gone, this whole thing's gone, and the heat stroke will stop. As you can see, at the moment it is not bad. Still some heat stroke there because I'm getting hot. That's gone right there. No more heat stroke. We are good. This thing's been foundation white and it is over. Like, um, this thing is done. Uh, so, yeah, we'll grab the Arch Priest out, grab our little prize, and continue on. But I hope you guys like this little demolition video. Um, there is a couple more we need to do, a couple more big builds that are coming up that we are going to blow up. So, I hope you guys enjoy them. So stick, stay tuned. But yes, yeah, on Z3 Zone, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you later.